everyone and welcome to a new video on Bite of Geek. Today I'm going to be taking you through the straightforward process of integrating your Drayton Wiser heating system into Home Assistant. So let's get to it. So you've got your shiny new Drayton Wiser heating system and you've got Home Assistant sat there and you're thinking, how do I get that lovely thermostat card that I've seen everybody else using with their Nest and their Hives? Uh, well, I'll show you how to do that in this video, show you how to get the two things integrated together so that you can have that thermostat card in your rooms. I'll also show you some of the other goodies that you get with the integration uh, so that you get kind of like a bit more visibility of what your Drayton Wiser network actually looks like, you know, what the quality of the connection is between your rooms. Um, and obviously, you know, there's a lot of uh, detail in the integration and some of the things that you can set up, uh, you know, maybe with automations, you know, there's a lot of entities there. So uh, sit back and I will take you through this relatively straightforward process. Now to get the Drayton Wiser integration installed, you're going to need to have already gone and installed something called Hacks HACS. Uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, I already have a video on the channel. There's a link up above. Uh, if you want to watch that, that'll uh, show you how to install Hacks. Basically, that gives you access to uh, the community driven, the, you know, the third party uh, integrations that you can go and build up in Home Assistant. So uh, go off and do that first. And then when you've got that installed, you need to go into Hacks and click on your integrations, click on Explore and Download Repositories, type in Drayton, and there should only be one uh, item that comes up in the list, which is the Drayton Wiser Integration for Home Assistant. So you just click on that. What you'll actually get then is you get the uh, kind of like the detail of the integration from the GitHub page. Uh, you just click on download in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, I would leave the uh, default uh, values and settings in this uh, dialog that comes up unless you really want to play around with the beta version. Uh, but other than that, just click on download and uh, it just takes a few seconds to go and do that. You'll then almost certainly have to uh, reboot your home assistant. So just navigate to that and uh, just restart. And then in hacks in your integrations, you should then be able to see that you've got a Drayton Wiser integration for home assistant. So uh, if you go back into settings and devices and services, and then you should, all being well, have a Drayton Wiser integration there already for you to go and configure. Um, if you don't, uh, what I would suggest you do is you go back into hacks into the actual uh, tile for the integration. You can then go and read some details on the installation instructions to do this manually. Um, you know, the details will be on the GitHub page. Every time I've tried this, I've done this about three or four times now uh, as I've been playing around with it. Every time I tried it, it's found it automatically as long as you do the reboot uh, in between installation and finding it. So um, click on configure and it should automatically have the IP address uh, that belongs to your uh, Wiser hub. And then you're going to need to put in, uh, well, I'd leave the port number as 80, but then you're going to need to put in a secret key. Now, uh, there are specific instructions for this on the, uh, the GitHub page uh, for, the, for the integration. Basically, what you need to do is to go to your hub press the setup button so it's uh, the uh, light starts flashing green and then uh, you connect to the uh, the Wi-Fi that is the hubs Wi-Fi so that's the one that identifies itself with Wiser uh, at the beginning and then you put in the IP address uh, that's on the screen now and um, you put in the rest of the URL and that will give you back a very long uh, set of uh, string of characters and numbers and letters, all that kind of stuff. That is your secret key. That is what um, allows the integration to be able to connect to your account. And that's what you need to put into this input here. So once you've uh, input your secret key, you just click on submit. And uh, if that's all okay, uh, it should then say, where is uh, this hub located? So I'm going to say that mine's located in the kitchen and then uh, as if magically it then comes up with all the devices that are 
uh, connected to your hub. Obviously, if you've not already gone and connected your devices, it's not going to come up with anything here. Um, so I would say it's probably best to go and do all of that in the app before you start down this process. Um, but basically, just go and set the areas where all your devices are and um, yeah, click submit and you are done. Now, if you want to get the uh, fancy thermostat or, uh, you know, maybe you want to get kind of like, you know, some of the uh, details of your wiser network, etc. What I'll do is I'll show you how to do that now. So um, I'll just go over to my test tab. Um, basically, because of the integration, you will now have some new cards available to you within Home Assistant. Uh, so we'll start off with the one which I think uh, is probably uh, the thing which is most beneficial uh, to understand what your installation looks like, and that is the um, the network card. So um, basically, if you go to uh, your dashboard and add a, add a card and type in Wiser, you'll find that you've got a Wiser Zigbee card now. And uh, I think this, you know, the the app, uh, Drayton have gone and updated the app recently, and they've gone and added on kind of like the network quality for your devices. However, this gives a much better view of what your network looks like. It looks like um, Zigbee to MQTT or um, you know, uh, Zigbee uh, HA. Uh, you know, it is the kind of information if you're used to Home Assistant that you actually want to see uh, of the kind of like the network that you've got for your devices. So um, you know you can uh, you, know, you can move these things around. You know, it, it's it's it, there's not much you can do with it other than kind of look at the information. <laughs> so uh, you know, in terms of uh, interactivity or, or doing stuff with it, it's it's fairly basic. Um, but you can save kind of like your layout. You can have it auto refresh and things like that. Uh, the thing for me is that you can see the um, which rooms and devices are you know the quality of them. Um, and I've recently added an extender. Uh, to my um, my setup, and um, you know that's made a massive difference. So what this does here is this allows me to see actually, you know, are the devices all going to the hub still, or are they going to the extender, and then the extenders go into the hub, and that's exactly the detail that that's giving me there. So I think it's really useful card to have. Um, probably not one you have on your main dashboard, you know, maybe something for a diagnostics page or something like that, um, but really. You know, straightforward. You just add that in there. Um, the next card, obviously, you know, if you want that thermostat on your rooms, so uh, you know, if you want, uh, you know, something like this, the um, you know, the one that you see on uh, everybody sharing when they've got their nests and their hives. Um, so now you can use the uh, thermostat card. Uh, so you can just click on that, and it will pick up your wiser. Uh, you know, device on, on the system there. Obviously, you know, you've got this now. If you've got the TRVs, you can use it, um, you know, stick one of those in each of the, uh, you know, your, your uh, room cards or something like that. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, really. You know, you've got your controls there. You can see what the current temperature is for the room and you can go and increase the or decrease the temperature as well. So nice to have that card available. And then I guess the final one, which uh, again comes with the integration, is the schedule card. So, uh, you know, this will come up with all your different rooms that have some kind of heating control in them. And, um, you know, it will let you actually see the, the schedule. So kind of the functionality that you've got in the mobile app itself. Uh, but obviously you can do it all via Home Assistant. Uh, yeah, great to be able to you know replicate that functionality and probably a little bit more, to be honest with you, from what is in the app into Home Assistant. Uh, but you're not done there because uh, if I go into my uh, settings and go into uh, automations, then, uh, well, yeah, you know, you guessed it. Uh, you know, you have got... Um, a whole, uh, let me see, what have we got here? So, um, you know, maybe you don't want to do specific stuff uh, with uh, schedules. Maybe you want to have, um, you know, something else there. Uh, you know, you want to actually have a little bit more finite control or, you know, just have a bog standard control of uh, temperatures. So you can say, um, you know, when the temperature of the climate control, so that, you know, I've got a TRV on my radiator in my lounge, 
Um, when that temperature is below a certain amount, I can, you know, I can control all this via automations now. Um, yeah, the, the possibilities are endless. You know, you can start to link up your other devices. Uh, so, you know, if it's sunny outside, turn down your, uh, your temperature on your radiator, turn your radiators off. Somebody goes and, you know, opens a window and you've got contact sensors on the windows, then, you know, go and turn your radiators off. I know you've got window, uh, open window detection in the app. You haven't got open door detection though. So, you know, you've got, um, you've got things like that that you can do as well. Uh, yeah, lots and lots of things that you can play around with here. Um, I'm just scratching the surface. This could be probably an hour long video. And I know how uh, some of you hate my long videos, but um, yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of flexibility here, probably more than what you could actually get going uh, with the app alone. So um, that is how you get it all set up. Uh, pretty straightforward, I would say. Lots of flexibility. Um, yeah, plenty of time going to get wasted tinkering with this one, I think. So there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts on, uh, you know, getting this all integrated into Home Assistant. You know, if you've gone down this route, what have you got set up? Uh, you know, have you gone and added automations? Have you just got kind of like the basic stuff that I've got set up at the moment with just kind of like the thermostat and, uh, you know, the network and stuff like that? Um, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, did you know this even existed? You know, if you've got Home Assistant and you've got Drayton and you've got neither of them connected together, um, you know, drop your thoughts about this down below in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.